Ed, you, you have this great love for life. Can you, is paradise for you a, a, a land of ant hills, endless to the horizon? And, and, and could you just, just weave a picture of a place you were able to visit that just stunned you by its magic and its beauty? Thank you for asking that question. <laughs> I lost, I got a softball question. No, it's a, a very nice, comforting question. <laughs> and it allows me, incidentally, to mention the novel I just sent to the publisher two days ago called Ant Hill. And in it, uh, I have uh, tried to um, provide a 21st century animal farm with the same aim as Orwell, incidentally, but for the 21st century by describing accurately, uh, based on a factual basis, how ants actually are and, and how and why they conduct count endless wars of the most warlike of all creatures, wipe one another out, struggle for existence, build little empires, uh, and uh, in many cases, destroy the environment. So I just want to mention that that's available if you'd really like to see uh, what is, can be produced by somebody who loves ants. However, to answer your question, um, the place that I would like to go back to, I just haven't had the opportunity, but it enchanted me when I was a new PhD allowed to travel anywhere I wanted to. I had a special fellowship at Harvard uh, and uh, went through the uh, South Pacific. New Caledonia. I'd really like to go spend time. It's magic. It's a piece of Gondwana that Gondwana land that split off and didn't mess around by getting too close to Africa or bump up against Asia the way India did uh, or get too close to uh, Melanesia, New Guinea and the Melanesia to get smothered by species coming down from there. It kept its own Gondwana elements and added some from Australia and a few other places and there's a magic land of adaptive radiation preserved, although the French are doing everything they can to eliminate it, uh, <laughs> preserved and there for um, your delectation. Uh, there is the most primitive known flowering plant. There is the largest number of conifer species. There are relic birds like the cagou. And there I found countless new species of ants it gave me my first glimpse of a completely independent island um, evolutionary radiation. So I'll go back someday, even if I have to be carried in on a stretcher. <laughs> <laughs> Chris. Yeah. Dr. Wilson, I'd like to offer you an assignment to New Caledonia for National Geographic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> um, I, think it's I, I take that seriously, <laughs> and, uh, and I take it seriously, and I'm going to come to this magazine I love, and uh, if, if I can go, and I hope, you know, for a month or two, or two or three months, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm, a, I'm still a little short of retiring there, but uh, I'm going to come to you and see if you can give me a, a photographer to join me. And we'll do New Caledonia, and we'll say all those nice things. Thank you. We might even have a photographer in the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay.